Welcome to the Disability Channel. We're here with really good guy, CEO <laughs> Michael Burns from the Invictus Games 2017. Michael, hey, thanks for you? being on the show today. Oh, it's great to be here. I have to congratulate you. What a, a fantastic event. You know, I got to tell you, we, uh, I mean, it's beyond our expectations. We knew we had something special. Uh, but I have to tell you, all the credit goes to the team and almost 2,000 volunteers who are making this happen. Uh, to be able to host these games in you know, Canada's 150th uh, anniversary since Confederation is as good as it gets. It's, it's been amazing. I, I can't, it's just like we were here since the start of the week and meeting every people, all the people from Rick Hansen to Mike Pinball Clemens to yourself to uh, seeing Prince. It's, tell us what you think, what's, what are the veterans taking away? What are you talking to them? What are they saying? Well, I think that, I mean, they're, they're overwhelmed by the response. I mean, everybody that they meet from the volunteers to the public to, you know, even the staff here at the, the village or the hotel that we're, we, we've got them all staying, uh, it's the same thing. They, they can't get over the response that they're getting. Uh, people are welcoming them. Uh, there's, they, you know, they, listen, a lot of them don't get this kind of recognition ever, even after serving and, you know, having to, you know, take on some difficult tasks. And so uh, for them to see that the public, uh, not, you know, it actually, you know, supports them, that the public wants to show their gratitude uh, and their love and their support. It's, it's remarkable. And that's part of, you know, the, the process that they're going through, that this is all part of the therapy uh, that's really the Invictus Games. And that recognition piece can be so positive in terms of their outlook, in terms of their confidence and their ability to move forward with their lives. That's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit how you got involved? In sure. Games? Uh, well, I got involved through a, a foundation that I was uh, responsible for co-founding called the True Patriot Love Foundation. Uh, we took it upon ourselves when the Prince announced that he wanted these games to live on after the inaugural games in 2014. And uh, we took a shot. Um, we ended up getting the games. Uh, we got actually, we, we were told in June of 2015 that we would have the games for 2017. And, and I was the only guy in the room. So they said, hey, Burns, why don't you do this? Wow, that's <laughs> so, great. Well, so, it, uh, so I actually, unlike most of my staff, uh, this is the first games that I've actually worked at. And so for me, there's been obviously a lot of learning, but a lot of things that I bring from the private sector and other things that I've done in my life uh, obviously apply very nicely to a big event, uh, to obviously raising awareness and support in order to deliver these games. Well, we'd like to build on that actually. It's funny that you mentioned True Patriot Love because I was talking to PJ. Yep. Because in my, within my station, we all have a uh, we also have a fundraising platform called the Virtual Walk. And the Virtual Walk is a walkathon on the PC, virtually. Mm -hmm. And our uh, spokesman for that is Tyrone Poole, two-time Super Bowl New England Patriot champion. So we are working in the state, and it's funny because we also work with Operation Hattrick in the U.S. and it's strictly a virtual walk raising funds for organizations and we are going to be talking with True Patriot mm -hmm. Love through PJ and hopefully oh, not through yourself, excellent. Operation Footstep because what we do, we, we set it up where the organization runs the fundraising at the end of the day they get to take 75 to 80 percent of the fundraising for the organization right off the top. So we, it's a great way to raise awareness, raise funds, True Patriot Love, and it goes with the Invictus Games. Um, well, just before we end it, just tell us a little bit of your take on Prince Harry. Well, you know, I've had the chance uh, over the last couple of years to, to obviously meet the Prince, get to know him, uh, and, and hear, you know, about, uh, you know, his, uh, uh, obviously, uh, see firsthand his support for these games. You know, a lot of people may not know this, but he's a veteran himself. Uh, more than 10 years in the British Armed Forces, multiple tours in Afghanistan. He knows as well as anyone the unique challenges that military families face, as well as the impact that service, uh, conflict and war can have on a soldier, uh, both physically and, and mentally. And so, you know, he, it's very authentic, for, you know, it comes across very authentic because it's real for him. And, you know, you've got a guy who could be doing a lot of other things with his time, and for him to have seen the transformation of those American service members and veterans at the Colorado uh, Warrior Games back in 2013, and to take you know, that concept and make it an, an international event called Invictus is, is pretty amazing. And uh, you know, we're just so happy to be working with him and he does such a great job of shining a bright spotlight on the reason we're here, and that is, you know, the service members, the veterans, and their families. And you know, you you couldn't ask for a better patron for our games than him. And he's been terrific to work with. And uh, you know, I think you know it's because of him uh, that this really got off the ground, and and it's been able to sustain itself now for for three years. Well, that's a great point. And that's what the veterans are saying. We're at the Madame Center. I just thought, you know, what do you think about Prince Harry? And he just could not 
just could not say enough yeah. great things about him. And like you said, because he's a veteran, so he really, yeah. he really does get it. And some of the, some of the, the soldiers, the veterans were saying, you know, Jay, once we finish our tour, we go home and we're looking for something to yeah. get attached to. And they said, this, these games are amazing. So again, here we're here with CEO Michael Burns and Victus Games 2017. Michael, Thanks. congratulations. What a great event. Thank you for taking the time to be on our show today. And hopefully we'll do more uh, interacting in the future. Look forward to it. Thanks, Jay. Great. You're watching the Disability Channel. Again, I'm Jay Stoyan. We'll see you next time.